today there are hundreds if not thousands of smartphones on the market, yet despite this, the way we actually use smartphones has changed very little since the original iPhone was launched in 2007. Sure, smartphones are now bigger, lighter, faster than they ever were before, but in terms of the way we actually use the phone, things have changed very little. That could be all about to change, however, with the launch of the second generation of Yota phone, a device which has not one, but two screens. This week I spoke to Vlad Martinov, the Russian entrepreneur who created Yota phone, and who believes that his small startup company is capable of taking on the big guns like Apple and Samsung, as well as revolutionizing the entire smartphone industry and making dual screen devices the standard from here on out. The original Yota phone was launched last year as a prototype, which was eventually put on sale to the public. The phone's main selling point was a second, low-powered e-ink display on the rear of the device, which users could use as a way of constantly monitoring alerts without having to unlock their phones all the time. The obvious question, however, is why do we really need two screens? Well, basically, the key thing is not because of two screens. Uh, the key thing is one is always on. And that's what fundamentally changed the user experience and make it better for smartphone users. Because basically when you have always on display, it's a kind of change the paradigm. Instead of waking up the phone every five minutes, find an application or content, phone proactively bring information you want to see, you need to see, uh, and make your, your life and interactions much better. The Auto Phone 2 will launch later this year as the evolution of the dual screen phone. It is much sleeker and looks like a typical Android smartphone, albeit one with a large e-ink display on the rear. Martinov believes strongly that the way we use mobile phones today is not conducive to a stress-free lifestyle. On one side, there is a lot of data, which is probably important for us, behind the screen. On another side, the phone is always in a sleeping mode. This actually drives uh, quite bad habits. What we usually do, we wake up the phone, open application, go through a lot of data which is there before we find what is important for us. Then we switch off the phone again and in five minutes we start con uh, getting concerned about what if something else there which we, which we might miss. And um, we wake up the phone again. While your phone may have a very unique selling point, it is entering a market which is hugely crowded and dominated by major players like Apple and Samsung. Martinov, however, is not too worried about the challenge, pointing to the success of BlackBerry as one reason why the minnow can overcome the giants. Well, first of all, nobody has a always-on display and applications and the user experience we uh, will offer to consumers. Second, we are much faster bringing innovation and idea to commercial product, and we are doing it at a much lower cost because we are small, we are flexible, uh, and we use a lot of crowdsourcing and a, a lot of other things. But the third is, uh, we already know from the history that there was examples where their small startup from country uh, challenged the big brands and, and, and it was successful. If you find the problem and the pain and you bring the solution to the consumer, they will decide and they will buy the product and they will change the market. Martinov believes that his company's product is not just a gimmick, but that it will lead to a revolution in the way we use our smartphones in years to come. The Russian entrepreneur points to the fact that Apple's touchscreen interface quickly became the de facto standard as proof that one idea can become widely adopted by the rest of the industry. And what will be his measure of success? For us, success if in five years all smartphones will be with always on display. Obviously, Vlad Martinov is confident of being able to change the smartphone industry completely, but this isn't going to happen overnight. However, Yodafone is offering consumers at least something different than what's out on the market at the moment. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Tech Talk, and for all your technology news and reviews, make sure to check out ibtimes.co.uk forward slash technology.